Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. Today I went to the Dollar Tree um, about 30 minutes from where I live just to see if they had anything different. Um, we were already on that side of town for something. So we stopped there and just seeing if they had anything different that they don't carry at my particular Dollar Tree or just anything new. And I did find a few finds that I know for a fact they do not have at either one of my Dollar Trees in town. So I will show you guys what I got as well as the things that they don't have. So if you're willing to travel, sometimes go the extra mile because your Dollar Trees will have different things there. So starting in the back, I got my dog some, my dog some treats. I got the little T-bones. I got the little sausage in a blanket. They really love those. And you get quite a bit. If you have any dogs or cats and you like little treats every now and then, go to Dollar Tree. They're so super cheap. They got good protein. Um, you can even get good name brand. Both of these, the T-Bones and the Dental Life, are both Purina brand, which are really good brands. So I picked up these. They are the mini kind, and they have seven chews in there. This is about the actual size of them. Um, I do have medium-sized dogs, but that will work perfectly just to give their breath, you know, something extra. Um... We always like to give it to them on occasional, and I did get those. If they do end up liking them, I will probably go back and get them. Like I said, my Dollar Tree does not, so I will have to make the drive. If you guys have watched any of my videos, you know that we're sugar-free, but one of the things we can eat on occasional, um, like once a week, is some dark chocolate. That's if you just really want that sugar taste, because it's low in sugar, but it also gives you a taste of chocolate, so I always get the Dove. We really like that. Um, so the Dental Life, they don't have at my store um, either one of my stores. Um, and I also picked up this car vent scent. It has apple and cinnamon in here. I'm not sure if they release at the same time or not, but I thought I would give that a try. Especially during the summertime, I like to have, you know, little car freshy smells in there. Um, so something I have not seen in my Dollar Tree ever is these little plastic cutting boards, but they're very sturdy. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell in the video, but they're, they don't move or anything like that. But I'm tired of pulling out my big square bamboo one whenever I'm trying to make like like a fruit salad or just using some onions or carrots or something. And my super small one I have, it is um, too small to even cut a whole onion. So I picked this up for a dollar and I thought it would be easy, cleanable, and easy to use when I need it. Um, so something else we don't have at my Dollar Tree is I've never seen the 51, 57 sauce there. I have tried this before and thought it was really good. Um, it don't have any sugar or anything in it, so I thought it would be nice, you know, to have if I'm cooking like pork or chicken or something. I also got some garlic powder. I have been so hard finding this, and I'm almost out of the one I did find. And they only had two of these left, and I only grabbed one. Thinking back, I should have grabbed both of them. And also got some chopped onions. I like to keep the chopped onions on ham if I'm doing like a, um, just to throw in something. Like if I ever do hamburger helper, I like to throw in some chopped onions and garlic powder. And it just spices it up a little bit. It tastes more, don't taste as more like a box. And you can kind of get that sweetness away. If you guys ever ate hamburger helper, you know that that has like a little sweetness taste to it. So I like to get that taste out of there. Um, so our living room, um remote is batteries is going out and I don't have any AAA at home so I grabbed two of the Panasonic ones. I like the name brand. I know on the Dollar Tree brand you get like eight or ten or even more but I like to get the name brand because I feel like your TV is the one thing you use most of and these last a lot longer so I decided to get two packs of those. I also got some A1 sauce. We cooked steak the other day and I was out of A1 sauce. I have to have it. It's like a thing. Like even if I go to a steakhouse, I will eat half the steak without it and the other half with it. I just have to taste the A1 sauce. But I made some with the sweet, uh, the raised, no sugar added original barbecue sauce. And I also put in some of the spicy ketchup for a sauce um, to, and it tasted sort of just like the A1 sauce. You guys will see that in my what's for dinner video that will go up Sunday. So look forward to that. It tasted so good and it tasted just like the thick A1 sauce. You know how you can get the regular and the thick? That's what it tasted like. So those two particularly together, it was so good. Um, so anyways, back to, <laughs> to the Dollar Tree haul. The next thing I got was I always like to grab these cute little socks when I go there. They're only a dollar and you get two pair and they actually last a long time. Like I'm able to wear them multiple, multiple occasions. But I like these because we have little American bullies and these are little Frenchies and I thought they were just the cutest little things. 
So I picked those up for me just to have. Um, again, if you guys have watched any of our videos, you know we are loving this salted caramel sugar-free from the Dollar Tree. This was the last sugar-free caramel one. We have not used the French vanilla yet, but we used this in a recipe you guys will see also in the What's for Dinner for a sweet potato. I've used it in all my recipes, um, like sugar-free desserts and everything, and it is wonderful, and I barely have any left. So I picked up another one. Something else that my Dollar Tree does not have are these three packs of bowls and square bowls. So in here, you got three different sizes. So you have the big one, and then you have a large, medium, small. Each come with the lid. They're the Sure Fresh brand, sure fresh brand um, and these are the round ones. And I thought this was so neat, like especially when keeping um, leftovers. And this matches my kitchen because I have like a lot of the teal colors. So I grabbed the circle one and I also grabbed the square one. I always feel like you can never have enough Tupperware. Like you always lose it no matter what happens. So I also picked up the square one as well. You have the large, medium, and small one. And even the small one, it don't look super small. Um... So I really like those. I, I should have grabbed more, honestly, but I'll see how they work, and then if I go back, I'll grab them. So the last thing I got, I got four of, and it is because when we have gumbo, soup, rice and gravy, anything that could go in a bowl, um, we like to use these little um, bowl cups that we got from Target, but they're plastic. You know, if you ever go to Target, you have like the different colored plates and bowls and things like that and they have little one of them one of them has little handles on them and they're different colors um but the dollar tree had them this time and they had a dark blue a white or a black so i decided to go with the white and they're just the little cup bowls that you actually can eat out of and we love these because when stuff's super hot you can just use the little handle once you put like your chili or soup or whatever in so i grabbed four of the white ones because they didn't have this color blue like i have um everything else in and right now I also have the gray plates that we use so I thought the white would be the best one to match with it and like I said I got four of those for a dollar usually I would only grab two like the other bowl we only have two of but um I just thought like if we ever did have company over we would have four of them to have but you guys that is the end of my small little Dollar Tree haul thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more um, like and leave me a comment if you like to chat and let me know what you'd like to see next.